I enjoy Crystal Ray Jesuit High School so much. It is the best thing that ever happened to me. I learned things that I didn't know before. I'm achieving the highest grades I have ever had, and I have a lot of friends here. I love this school. The fact is that millions of children of all races, particularly low-income children in rural areas and urban areas, are being left behind. And unfortunately, as people see failure, they lose hope. Well, what's so positive about Crystal Ray is that we're saying we've seen how this program in other cities has attracted and educated low-income children, children from a variety of backgrounds, and helped them to become the best, to become well-prepared to go to the best universities in our country. And we're saying we can do this in Baltimore. We can take children from all types of backgrounds. And we rarely understand the challenges that some of these children have faced. But with love and high expectations, all things are possible. We can take a child from any background and help that child succeed. This is what Crystal Ray symbolizes for all of us. Crystal Ray Jesuit High School is a powerhouse college prep program for Baltimore City boys and girls. But it's a, it's a college prep high school with a kick. And that kick is our corporate internship program. It's a unique blend of traditional academic accountability and high expectations with jobs where students see the life application of what they're learning in the classroom. My current job is at Lake Mason Asset Management Firm. I work on the 24th floor in the Human Resources Department. My job is helping me really prepare for the real life outside the protection of my home. The thing that I like best about my job is that I'm trusted with so many responsibilities that someone my age rarely has. The corporate internship program, which we call CIP, is basically a work-study program for our high school students. The program really runs like a placement agency where our students are the actual employees. All students are required to work five days a month at a corporate location here in Baltimore or in the surrounding area. Basically, our students are working for their education. Some of our students, they're working in executive levels, offices, offices with presidents of banks and so forth. So they can see, you know, I need to have my education to be able to get to this 22nd floor, or, you know, the top floor of the building. We think that the best thing that they learn is probably not the skill of administering uh, data collection or working through uh, reports, etc but a real learning of how to conduct themselves in a business environment during their high school years. That includes uh, basic uh, presentation, uh, dress, um, communication, punctuality, accountability. Um, those disciplines are learned in addition to some skills for sure. Well, they see people reading all the time, writing, memos, working with computers, talking with other people, learning how to work in groups. These are exactly the skills you need in college and you need for life. And so what Crystal Ray is doing is helping to empower young people, getting them a chance to be around smart people in the workforce and saying, you can be like them. That's smart. I spoke with um, Cheyenne, who's one of our students, uh, yesterday and she told me she wants to be a pediatrician and I thought, how great. Here's a child from the inner city of Baltimore who not only now is going to be able to go to high school but be able to go to college and think about going to medical school and be a pediatrician. What a wonderful gift to give that girl. So we're going to help her do that any way we can. When you think about being able to make one call and not only provide, in essence, philanthropic support but get energetic, honest employees who are not only going to work hard, but are going to make you feel better as a company, that you are doing good in the community while you're getting your work done. They walk out of this school with a resume that most college students don't have already. So there's this great advantage there. I mean, these folks are putting Lake Mason on their resume, and they're only in ninth grade, and they can already do that. It's an amazing experience for children to have. My name is Melinda Romero. My favorite thing about Krista Ray has to be the teachers. They are always here to help us whenever we ask for it. They don't just stand in front of a classroom and talk. They walk around and make sure we learn what they are teaching. The teachers here are not just teachers. They are friends and very special to me. I have never gone to a school with such caring people. 
We're accountable academically to our Crystal Ray network. Our students are assessed annually on uh, standardized testing to make sure that they're making appropriate progress in reading, writing, and math. And so we've put in place specific academic supports in those three areas to make sure we're making progress every year. Anytime a student who might be uh, falling down in one subject area or having some difficulty, we have uh, tutors and if a student has uh, some difficulty socially and things of that nature, we have counselors in place. Um, it's just a place where everybody is willing to uh, lend a helping hand. We want to give our students not just literacy in the sense of I can read, but literacy in the sense of as an educated person, I know To Kill a Mockingbird, I know Romeo and Juliet, I've read My Mistress's Eyes Are Nothing Like the Sun and realized that it's not a put down. It's a change that's well needed. We need more schools like this in other places in Maryland. We need more schools to get our young children positive and focused on their, their life and their education. I mean, let's face it, the young people today are falling through the cracks. And this school office that the children that come here, they love it. I love seeing them grow. I've seen them grow from August to now. They have changed. They have grown. They're positive. They're incentive. They're going. They're strong. And this school has put that in them. My name is Arthur Williams. I want you to thank you for donating to my school. And rest assured that the money you donate is helping me with my education. Thankfully, we also have wonderful and generous people like you who do not mind donating some money so my classmates and I can go to school and then go to college. My school always focuses on treating others like we want to be treated, and I want to thank you because that is what you are doing. You got an education and now you are helping others accomplish what you have already accomplished, and you are giving us someone to look up to. You are someone to help others and does God's work. Sincerely, Arthur Williams. And one of the things we're focusing on with our young people is that they're not only here to uh, open up a brighter future for themselves, but that their brighter future is tied in with the future of Baltimore City. It's really, really important for us to make an investment in the youth of the city. Those, those are the opportunities to change it. That's the opportunity in the long run. We have to do something to change this cycle. And I think something like Crystal Ray is a terrific opportunity to do that. What we really need from the community is continued support. Uh, hire our students as interns so that they can continue to afford to go here because that's one of the ways that they support themselves, pay for their tuition, is, is doing that internship. Um, spread the word about what we're doing down here and how wonderful it is. You know, anybody who has a stake in the city is desperate for models that work, desperate for educational models that'll give their kids the opportunity to succeed in life. They offer the structured environment, they offer discipline, they offer moral and, and ethical development as well as the intellectual content. Uh, it's a very powerful product. This is a great example of the whole village raising a child. Everybody's thinking about how do we help this child from this background succeed. It's not just the parents, not just the school, it's the entire community and that's what Christa Ray is doing. There are many, many uh, men and women in the community who are wondering what we can do to make Baltimore a better place. Please, would somebody please show me where is that, where is that one place where I know that I can make a difference, where I can uh, contribute, where I can give of myself, my time, my talents, and my treasure to make a difference in the city of Baltimore. And I think we have an opportunity right here at Crystal Ray Jesuit High School. I would like to thank you for my scholarship and just want to say how much joy you have caused me. The scholarship has really provided me with a chance of a lifetime. Sincerely, Xavier Cole. I know that this challenge has helped me a lot. It has made me a better person and now I can take a lot of pressure and work and still finish everything that needs to be done. This is why I thank you for the scholarship you gave me. It is helping me stay out of school that I love. I hope that maybe someday I can meet you. Sincerely, Melinda Romero.